I need a vacation. Back to work, Janice. Each customer is a little different. They um, want different color cables. So right here, they want three different color cables to identify the ETH0 port, ETH1 port, and then the IPMI port. We knew it was going to be a long day yesterday. We got ourselves prepared mentally on the drive up. We talked about the uh, the plan, and and uh, my crew really uh, pulled through. Um, yeah, Paul and uh, and Ty just buckled down. Uh, we got it all done. Not, not not a single one of them complained about how much work there was, or how tired they were, or, or how heavy the stuff was. Oh man, did not sound like a good experience. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you know we were very efficient. Did a fantastic job to do that many servers uh, with other other customers. That takes them two to three days, and we did it in less than three hours. I think the biggest thing is we've been able to save a lot of space and power. We're going to do as much business through this new data center with PSSC gear as we do in another data center with a different vendor's hardware, and we've allocated about two thirds the power. So. That, that alone has been pretty impressive. All right, we're uh, here on Wall Street amongst the one percenters. Uh, you can see the snow on the ground, freezing my took us off. Uh, going up to Pulse Point right now, make sure things went well in California, and we'll see you up there. I just got a call from Eric. Uh, seems like they're all done in California, wrapped up. Um, how are things going from your perspective? Anything we can do now to help? <laughs> Everything has gone incredibly well, uh, from the delivery of the equipment, uh, to racking and insulation and uh, through cabling. So uh, essentially, um, as planned on day two of the installation, we've been able to spin up all of the hardware. So I've got some pictures also uh, sent over to me. I gotta say those white racks with the purple bezels, that looks hot. So I don't know who came up with that, but that is amazing. Probably as Jason told you, um, you know, our company colors are purple and white as well. So uh, because your bezels are purple, of course, the natural choice is to have a white uh, rack. Just finished up here at Pulse Point. Seems like they're very happy. Just want to thank James and everybody else, and we'll see you next time. All right. I I think we're coming up on it. I think I see it. It's all glass. Looks beautiful. Wow, this is fantastic. I, I think I'm here. Where are you? It, the glass building. You're not here? The building's at Red Hook? Where's Red Hook? Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Right, I th think we're here. Looks like this is the right street, but I don't see any. What happened to my glass and steel building here, my modern building. This doesn't look very modern. What the? What's going on in here? What? What? What's going? What? Huh? There, there's a, there's a, Homeless dude on my couch? Who? Oh, Jared, what are you doing here, man? I'm working, man. Well, you better get back to work, man. This place is dude. a dump. What's man. going on? And you told me this place was going to be glass and steel. What, what's going on? I this place is a dump. Yo, I, I, you're like a homeless man on my couch right now. What's what going on? What are you talking on? about, man? <laughs> Christian, we, we got we to gotta work this out. I mean, I told you I had a vision. I wanted glass and like like I was walking into an Apple store clean white pristine beautiful I got dead plants over here that look like they're growing mold I got a homeless guy sleeping on my couch because this is not what I was expecting here I mean I told you I wanted like an Apple store I wanted clean lines I wanted white I wanted glass I wanted beautiful and 
I, I mean, I got basically a prison cell here, buddy. What's going on? Paid you good money for this. Huh? Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but it'll work. <laughs>